<laughs> it tricked me because it was baby food. Hey everyone, welcome to Cooking Without a Full Pantry. I'm here with Fisher. He's my sous chef. That means assistant chef. So what what are we what are we baking today, Fisher? A pumpkin pie. A pumpkin pumpkin pie. But since it's cooking without a full pantry, what are we missing? A pumpkin. No pumpkin. We're gonna make a pumpkin pie without any pumpkin. We've got some frozen butternut squash. And... Baby food. What kind of baby food? Sweet potato. Sweet potato baby food. So, the idea is, hey, you wanna make a, you wanna make a pumpkin pie. But you're missing an ingredient. Maybe an important ingredient, like pumpkin. So what do you have lying around your house? You might have some frozen squash or something like that. If you happen to have a baby, you might have some baby food. Maybe you got some leftover baby food. Well, okay. We're making our own evaporated milk. We can control the thickness of the evaporated milk. So that way, if this ends up not squishy enough, we just make our evaporated milk a little bit thinner. And if this stuff is too squishy, we just make our evaporated milk a little bit thicker. Okay, so we're gonna start, we're gonna start with the squash. And there's a squash. The other one. Yeah, it's nice. Most of it is pretty squishy. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna strain the water out so that we only keep the squash. We get rid of the water. And then all the water You're gonna will, jump in there. Yep, all the water will go through to the bottom bowl. So now just lift up the strainer full of squash and dump it into the big bowl here. Perfect. So our recipe calls for one 12 ounce can of evaporated milk. So to make that, we've got to start with about three and a half cups of milk. All right, dump it right in there. Set this right here, and we'll let that go. That's got to heat up, and it'll start to evaporate. The water will start to turn into steam and come out. We'll be left with a thicker milk. So now is kind of a fun part. We get to squash the squash. A good tool for this uh, would be a, a potato masher. We don't have one though, which is kind of the theme of this show. So hmm. instead we're gonna use a whisk. Just like squish, squish, squish squash the squash. Yes, go to town. Got it. We want to get it to the point where we can't tell that it used to be cubes of frozen squash. Do you see any cubes left in there, Fisher? Is that one? Squish that guy. Let's turn back to our milk real quick here. We got bubbles on the top now. You see those? It's doing its work. We got steam coming out. Another reason we want to stir it not just to keep it from boiling, but the solid parts are gonna be on the bottom. If we don't stir the solid parts up from the bottom, they're gonna to start to burn down there. Make sure that that's on low. So we got our mash. We're waiting on our milk. So what's first on that ingredients list? Two eggs. You wanna crack an egg in there? Into there? Yup. You can put the shell just on this plate. Good job. Your other hand like that. Perfect. Now we go wash our hands. Okay, we got the eggs. What's next on the list? A half cup of sugar. Here's a half cup. You want to scoop out a half cup 
spoonful of sugar and dump it in there. One teaspoon of sand. Here's a teaspoon. Hold it right over the bowl. So if we spill any, it just goes right in the bowl. Is that good? That's good. A half teaspoon of salt. Half teaspoon of salt. We got it right here. There you go. A half teaspoon of ginger. One eighth teaspoon of cloves. Yeah, cloves. Wait, we need to put our clothes in the mix? No. How do we get an eighth of a teaspoon of our clothes? That would be too small. Does that look good? Okay. And it's not in, it's not in our recipe, but I, I like nutmeg in my pies too. Let's get let's get some nutmeg. One eighth of do it like a quarter. One can mm, twelve ounces of evaporated milk. Excellent, and that's what we have on the stove. So that'll be done in just a little bit, and then we'll add it in here. But before we do that, we can mix up what we've got so far. So do you want to start mixing that up here? Okay. Now I'll check on our milk. We're gonna call that good. Let's check on our milk again this in here carefully. It's still pretty hot. <laughs> yes. And so we've got our bowl of evaporated milk right here that we can use to measure. Okay. Yup. 12 half cups. Three half cups. You can start stirring right now. All right. There we go. Be careful not to stir too fast. So this is looking a little bit runny, but uh, I think every time I make a pumpkin pie, I, I worry about it looking too runny before I pour it into the pie crust. Even though it's not pumpkin, it, it really does look like a pumpkin pie filling right before we put it in and bake it. So it, it's really looking good. Do you think it looks good? Mm -hmm. Yeah? And we're back. We had to take a break to uh, go to bed. And now we're back to finish up with the pies. So we, here we go. F there's Fisher, he's ready. We got, next we're gonna do our sweet potato. And we're, we've got our mix right here. That's our mix of the butternut squash ready to go into a pie. We just gotta make some pie crusts and we got to finish mixing our sweet potato mixture. We're gonna make an actual pumpkin pie and we'll have three pies to taste test. What do you think? Are you excited about taste testing pies? Mm -hmm. Oh, we should do a blind taste test. Do you know what that is, Fisher? Oh, uh, 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 you, uh, guess what it is. Yeah, you, we, we put them on a plate and you don't and know you which one's which. Eat it and then, uh, uh taste it. Yeah. And then, uh, uh, you guess what food it is. I, I think that's what we have to do. That sounds great. All right, let's get to work on the baby food, sweet potatoes. Here's the baby food. You want to open that pack? And I'll open this one. I was thinking about this last night. What we could have done is done a mix. We could have mixed the squash and the baby food. We had a frozen squash baby food sweet potato pie. But, uh, but I do like the idea of just trying each of them individually. It's just, it actually smells pretty good. I mean, it should, it's sweet potatoes. You pour them in, I'll peel them. Each of these are four ounces, and we got four of them, so that makes up our 16 ounces that we're supposed to have. 16 ounces of baby food. 
Yep. Matt's a ton of babies What do you think, Fisher? Does this look, is it a little bit more runny and soupy? What we need to do, we talked about thickening it with the evaporated milk, and we thought about maybe putting some cornstarch in to make the milk thicker. Yeah. I think another thing that we can do is instead of using, instead of using our two eggs, like the recipe calls for, we could just use egg yolks. We could use three of them. And I'll show you how to get the egg yolks out of, out of it and just use the yolk. So we're gonna crack the egg, but instead of just breaking it right open, we're going to very carefully crack it open. And we're gonna try to keep the yolk in there. And we're just gonna, we're kinda, if we kinda slosh the yolk back and forth in the two halves of the shell, all of the clear part will run down there, and then we just have the yolk left. And we'll drop that into there. Do another one. And since the recipe calls for two eggs and we're just using the yolks, I think that means that we need to make up for it by using three yolks. You want to try one, Fisher? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll crack it for you and I'll get it started. And I'll hand it to you. Oh, this one cracked really good. Okay, so take it in both hands. And just carefully kind of slosh it back and forth until all the clear stuff runs out. Okay, you got it. Now just dump it in here. And we're good. Okay, now let's go wash our hands. What's next? A half cup of sugar. One teaspoon of cinnamon. Pour that on in there. A half teaspoon of salt. A half teaspoon of ginger. Okay, that looks good to me. An eighth teaspoon of cloves. All right, cloves out of there. And then what else did we add last time? Uh, a uh, uh, nutmeg. Yeah. There we go. Evaporated milk, okay. So that's the next step, and here's what we're gonna do for that. We're gonna use some cornstarch. We've got the remaining evaporated milk that we evaporated last night. We're gonna pour that into our little saucepan. I don't know exactly, but I'm gonna try out a teaspoon. I'm gonna put that in there. When we start heating it up, that cornstarch is gonna to go to work thickening. And we want it to be spread out before it starts thickening. While I am mixing this up and warming it up, can you start mixing up our filling right there? Let's look up at this camera and wave to him. Hi! Okay, our milk is cooled off, so we're gonna pour it in there and just start lightly mixing it in as I pour. Go ahead, start pouring, start mixing, start stirring. Good, that looks beautiful. So here is our three mixtures that we're gonna make these pies out of. We got our first one right here, the the butternut squash, the frozen butternut squash that we mashed up. We got our second one right there, that's the, the sweet potato baby food. And then we got our actual pumpkin puree out of a can mixture right there. So that's the real stuff. This I think is the next closest to the real stuff. And then this one is just kind of, we hope this works. <laughs> Which is going to taste the worst? Are you nervous about any of them? Not really? All right, high five. You are a brave cook. We got our three 
pie crusts ready. There is the three fillings. A lot of recipes say to partially bake for a few minutes your pie crust before you put in the filling to help keep it from getting soggy. I'm going to try another trick since we have the egg whites left over from just using yolk on the baby food. Um, so I'm going to do an egg wash that's supposed to help just seal the crust so that it doesn't get soggy from the filling. I'm just going to brush that on. Okay. Swish it around a little bit. All right, got them all filled up. The uh, baby food one actually looks like the perfect pumpkin pie color, uh, but it's definitely, definitely soupier than the others. So into the oven they go. All right, the pies are out of the oven. One that is definitely darker, a little bit burnt around the edges. So that is the, uh, uh, the baby food pie. And the reason that's so much darker is because it had to cook for an extra hour and a half longer. Did not want to set. So we, uh, we definitely had trouble with this one being too runny. So we're just letting those cool and then it's time for the taste test. Okay, I think we are ready. Okay, we got it. Okay, can you feel your fork, Fisher? Hold on. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Hold Help on. him out if <laughs> Fisher, do you have your fork? Oh, <laughs> I don't see it. Hey, that's the middle. When you're ready to take a bite. <laughs> you can pick up the pie with your finger. Sure. <laughs> oh, He's doing really good. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should just feed Fisher. That'll work. Okay, go. <laughs> Mmm. Okay. Mm. What one do you think it is, Fisher? Pumpkin, or or frozen squash, or baby food? Baby food. Okay, Fisher guesses baby food. I guess regular pumpkin. Okay. okay. Dad, do you have your blindfold on? I do. <laughs> okay, do you, do you have it, Fisher? Did you try it yet? I ate it. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Mmm. <laughs> oh, wow, that has kind of a rich flavor. Okay. What do you think, Fisher? Squash. You think that one's squash? I'm gonna say baby food on that one. I think, it's, I think it's baby food. I think the rich flavor has to do with how long it ended up having to cook. Mm -hmm. Last one. I want to try to do it. Okay. So mm -hmm. Your hands are above the fork, Fisher. <laughs> <laughs> You're really good. You're hogging the plate. <laughs> You're like hogging the plate. Oh. Oh, you got it. Mmm. Uh -oh. Okay. Or that's the squash. That one's the squash now? I think that's you're right. I think that's the squash. 
Well, yeah, I definitely guess this one was, was the squash. I think the first one was the regular pumpkin, the second one was baby food, and this is the frozen squash. Yeah. Okay, can, can we take off our blindfolds now? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Can you get it, Fisher? Uh -huh. Oh! What? It's a pumpkin, and here's your second one. Oh my, I guess the baby food, right? But, oh my gosh, frozen squash fooled me. I can't believe it. And what do you think, fish. Fisher? Ah. Do you want to grab his glasses? Frozen squash tastes good like the regular. Oh, uh, it was this. Squash I was taste. definitely wrong. You should taste it. Pumpkin yeah, yeah, try it. Go ahead. Oh, I'll taste the pumpkin Here, you can stand too. by Fisher in oh, the video, this okay? I wanna this taste totally the shocked me. I can't believe frozen can squash I, hey, fooled us. Can I taste the pumpkin again? Buddy. <laughs> I think this was a successful, um, a successful cooking without a full pantry taste test. Well, we will we will see you next time. Can you pass it to me? We did. There it is. This is like the only pie I actually like. Don't see really? it. Hmm? That's Rick to me. Oh, baby food. It, it tricked me because it was baby food.